How's it going, you beautiful people? My name is Zach, and welcome back. You know the We got drill. through it without laughing. <laughs> I, I gotta smirk a little bit, but yeah. I go all out. <laughs> welcome to part three of Speak Now, Taylor's version. I'm here with Mark. I'm here with Dan. And this who is... Else? <laughs> who else? Who else? Here? This guy comes up, he's like, Paul! Yeah. My name is hey, Paul. Paul. Quick question before we start. Which YouTuber would you like to see in our next collab? And we'll text them and have them come. We know every YouTuber. So today, <laughs> we are listening. Everyone's like, you should have Taylor Swift on the next episode. <laughs> We're like, you're so right. Yeah, we can make it happen. That's such a good idea. Why didn't we think of that? Today, we are listening to the final third of Taylor Swift's Speak Now, Taylor's version, album. <laughs> That's such a weird version. Um, <laughs> we're listening to all the vault tracks. There are six of them. Um, and I'm really excited because I definitely haven't heard any of these. It's going to be a good time. Should I do an apology video right now? <laughs> get really get really gray and just be like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... <laughs> Mark has something to say. First of all, I never claimed to be a Taylor Swift expert. These guys <laughs> called me a Taylor Swift expert. We'll take that blame. We'll, we'll take yeah, that blame. Um, in our eyes. <laughs> I am not a Taylor Swift expert. I definitely know more than them. I, I don't want... Uh, I don't want people to think that I'm like claiming to be this like all knowing like Swifty God. I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm here for the music and the lore is like interesting, but I don't know a lot of the lore. But yeah. feel free to feel educate free to us. Feel free to educate us, just like, you know, don't and Mark, be mean about it. <laughs> we apologize for thinking you knew more than you yeah. knew. <laughs> These fucking Jimbos right here. But in all seriousness, like, like I said in the yeah. comments before, like we just do it for fun. Um, This is just kind of like the type of vibe that we're going for. If it doesn't suit your fancy, I'm sure there are other Taylor Swift reaction videos that you can go see but we're just having a good time because we're all jimbos at the end of the day right what the fuck is a gym shall we jump right in yes let's do it Track this seven, will also it. the final thing i'll clarify <laughs> this will probably be the last video before um torture's poets comes out and um what three days four days four Did days it, i thought it was 18 it's the 19th though so there's that okay we're not cutting that we're not yeah but yeah. basically right when that album comes out we're planning on like trying to get through it as soon as possible so we can get it out um cause... we'll get it out asap yeah Yes. Yes. Rocky. So that'll be the next album, and then I'll fix that that uh that form, and we'll see what's next on the journey to listen to all of Taylor Swift's. Hell yeah! Discography. Zach has been saying that he's gonna switch that <laughs> for that he's gonna fix that form for four videos yep. now. I've just been really busy. <laughs> track number seventeen. First track of the night is Electric Truck. Truck. <laughs> Track number Trade seven. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's. Dude, I can't even. <laughs> Track number seventeen is Electric Touch, featuring Fallout Boy. Taylor's version from The Vault by Taylor Swift and Fallout Boy. Okay, just an hour till your car's in the driveway. Just the first time ever hanging out with you tonight. I've got my money on things going badly, sadly. Still hoping that the fire won't burn me just one time. Just one time. A little extended yeah. classic speak now. I'm liking this so far. Yeah. I have no idea. Rain lost a pine. I'm trying hard not to look like I'm trying. It's Patrick Stump, guys. Really, it works. It kind of does. Yeah. And she's still there on the harmonies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good catch. Woo! Ooh, yeah. Oh, and he's in on the chorus too. I love the way their voices match. Yeah. yeah. It's like. They did a live performance together like years ago, like around the Red Era, around like 2013. Really? really? Yeah, and Taylor came out and sang My Song's Not What You Did in the Dark with them. I don't know 
how you describe it, but their voices, I feel like if you pitched Taylor Swift's voice down a lot, oh, that. it would kind of sound like him. Like maybe the way they speak or something. Like the timbre of it? Yeah. yeah. Like I, it's, I it's very similar and they've meshed very well together. It might be on this it might be on this album just so cuz it's a little more rocky in general than her other stuff. Could be. Yeah, that yeah. could that could be That's it. A good point. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'd see Fallout Boy like collabing with Taylor on one of her newer songs. That would be crazy. But maybe like you never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow. He has such a cool high range. Yep. Could you imagine if it was 805 right now? <laughs> oh, my Ooh, god. oh my god. Holy uh, breath support. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. A little halftime action. Jesus. The fucking, it's a high D. I said speak now. <laughs> I was going for the high D joke, but none of you met me there. <laughs> okay. All right, track 18. When oh, can Emma... we say our thoughts on that song before we yes. get to the next one? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> uh, I think they mesh very well together. I never thought I would see Fall Out Boy and Taylor Swift mesh together on a song, yeah. but he matched her energy. She has a very specific energy, and he matched it very, very well. Agreed. Big we fan. should watch the My Songs Not What You Did in the Dark performance, just for fun. I know what you with, did last summer. Like, when Taylor sang it with him? Yeah. Them? Yeah. We'll Have do. you guys seen that? No. Maybe, like, when it came out. They go way back. They go way back. Alrighty, track number 18 is when Emma falls in love. Who is Emma in relation to Taylor Swift again? What do you mean again? I don't <laughs> I don't know. I feel Wait, like yeah, th there is There's an there's Emma in lore. Taylor Swift's life. So I think it's Emma Stone us. or Emma Watson, one of them. Imagine being named Emma. Emma? Mommy? Get some ASMR. Ooh. Or ASMR crowd out there. How about one of these? Ready? Oh. Ooh. 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 That, oh, that's good. Stone. That's good. Thank you. All right, here we go. When Emma falls in love, she paces the floor, closes the blinds, and locks the door. Ooh. Looks about the ways that this one super quick. I, I feel like have any of her songs started with piano? Maybe not on this album. I yeah. It's a little, oh. it's a little refreshing. Hmm. Kind of a good catch. Uh, it just kind of threw me off. Guitar, 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 <laughs> guitar, guitar, gu uh, banjo, guitar. Jamboree. Never grow up as. <laughs> guitar, guitar, synth. synth. Taylor. <laughs> Drums. Guitar. Drums. Forgot Drums. about Haunted. Guitar. Guitar. Wow. Good catch, Zach. When Emma falls in love, she calls up her mom. Jokes about the ways that this one could go wrong. <laughs> Boy will never be the same. She's the kind of girl Woo. that she can't That cook's quick. Like if an air fryer. <laughs> Flat seven moment? Flat seven, yeah. Hangs in the air like stars in outer space. Ooh, did you hear the birds? Yeah. When Emma falls apart, yeah. Was that in the song? I think. Oh, oh no, no, it no it's not. just outside. <laughs> I love that tambourine. Oh, I didn't even notice that.
that's how you know this was written in 2010. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Just that line. She's so New York when she's in L.A. You're hot, then you're cold. You're yes and you're no. You're in, then you're out. You're up and you're down. You're wrong when it's... Oh, wow. so put you in your place. When Emma falls in love, I'm learning. Dude. Yeah, between me and you, sometimes <laughs> I wish I was her. That was cool. That's like almost like a snap back to reality moment. That's yeah. what that felt like. I have to say, that one felt like so, like in not a bad way at all. I'm not shaming the song at all. It just feels so out of place in this album. You I know, think it's, it's just, because it's from the vault that makes more sense. Well, exactly. It's like, I understand like why they might have like not kept it in like that starting lineup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe I just said starting lineup. <laughs> Here's my hot take though. That might be my favorite one of like the entire album so really? far. I think so. I will say that I think on the hierarchy of things of like blessings in your life like getting knighted by like the king or queen is up there and then like maybe right above it is getting a song about you written by taylor swift Swift. right below that is like falling in love yeah yeah (laughs) okay (laughs) um this song is called i can see you taylor's version from the vault (laughs) um really interesting one it's it's the only song from the vault that got a music video um you may have heard this but 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 but. here is the bit in this music video stars joey king one other person i need to look it up (laughs) i hate you guys so much i wonder what happened today oh i don't like that at all i don't like that either oh (laughs) that's good to do that again the music video stars <laughs> Joey King, Presley Cash, as in Johnny Cash, and Taylor Lautner. That's one of Taylor Swift's exes. Taylor Lautner? La- Lautner? Pronounced La- Lautner. Lautner? Lautner. Lautner. But why Taylor Lauder? Why have I only known it as Taylor Lautner? That's Because oh, he did an interview like around the time that this music video came out, and he was like, yeah, I, people so just actually, started saying it, and I never corrected them. It's but, up yeah. to us. Taylor Lautner, one of her exes, is in this music video. He did all of his own stunts. Just fun and interesting there's a fun there's a fun thing there's a fun thing you guys know the spider-man meme with like the yeah. We, yeah. Could, we could recreate that but um <laughs> so taylor and taylor dated and he married he is now married to someone else named taylor mm. and they on the set of this music video they did the like the spider oh really that's recreation. cool i like that's, that yeah you move on you you yeah. groove on you groove on you move and on. then she brought the entire cast out onto the eras tour stage yo when they premiered this video that's on july cool. 7th that's all right cool. well here we go i can see you it's also a great song that's the same intro as lavender haze right no 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 <laughs> like the first song uh, in this uh, album uh, yeah mm-hmm. uh mean no mine mine, mine. <laughs> Rush past me in the hallway and you don't think Whoa. I, I, I can see it through Seals ahead of its time. I've been yep. watching you for ages and I spent my time trying not to feel it if we never made up. Ooh. Scratches yeah. itch. I'm obsessed with the drums. Yes. That extra layering there. Yeah. Like, I don't know musically what that is. Love it. That chord, the major warrior. Yeah. Dude. Oh. I saw. Was that like her, like? Oh, I can see you 
Okay, okay. I know we've mentioned that, like, they can't hear the stereo image, but when it gets to a point where all we say is the panning... It's just the bit. It's just the bit at this point. It's cool, though. Like, especially cool. with the remixes like, of everything. You gotta get a new so audio driver. No, they can just listen to the song to get Taylor another stream. <laughs> listen Support to this song and... And pay attention to all the epic panning in this song. We're just we're just being that guidance for that, right? <laughs> You're like, oh man, that left ear, dude, left ear goes crazy in this song. It does. That's it so does. true. It does. Me when I look at a baby. <laughs> Slowly becoming like a sing-along channel. <laughs> I like this song. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Hello, I'm sorry. my name is Dan, and I like this song. The Thank next you, song Dan. we will be listening to is... Wait, Kansas. we gotta give our thoughts. I know. Um, I like it. It's my favorite. Actually, I might like Electric Touch <laughs> a little bit more. But Really? Yes. I just love the mixture of the different voices and how sure. it blends so well Wow, together. okay. What about you, Zach? Um, I'm still on When Emma Falls in Love team. Do you like I Can See You? I really like this song. We're Ooh. all in together. We're, we're not together. We're all separate. separate. <laughs> we're all arguing right now. That dog is not happy. So, track number 20. Or number four. The song was good. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't actually talk about the yeah, song. We were right, like, right. our favorite is this. I really like, I, I yeah. like that song. That might be my favorite of all tracks, which is like kind of a basic opinion, I think. But I think it just goes so hard. The drums, especially, like you Dude. were saying. And like the, yeah. like, weird, just so much like, almost like psychedelic stuff on the guitars, yeah. which I really love. And that. the harmonies also fit very, very well. That's definitely yeah. a shower type song. Screaming it in the shower. I think, in my mind, if I had to label this album as something, it's just like shower type beat. Just like, like screaming like, in the shower. Just screaming in the shower. All of these songs. Hey man, yeah. if you're into taking hour and 44 minutes long <laughs> showers, this, I know the album for you. Go Boy, to have I got a product for you. Just... We should get a hot tub. We should totally we should get, get a hot, hot tub. tub. I would... It's too late to get a hot tub. It's about to be like 70 degrees constantly. Uh, track number 20 is Castles Crumbling by Taylor Swift featuring Haley Williams' Taylor version from the vault interesting how she put Haley williams instead of paramore when she put fallout boy instead of singer well what i'll say mm -hmm. is probably mm -hmm. if we take a look at the credits probably other vocalists from fallout boy on. or instrumentalists no we don't see that here it's okay we don't see that here okay. but i'm sure that it like the other members of paramore um are not on this song Haley williams is a powerful enough being i only know one like Patrick Stump solo project, and that was This City featuring Lupe Fiasco. So not even a solo project <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Whoa. Such a cool intro. Yes. I have fallen from grace and I feel like my castles crumbling down and I watch all my bridges burn to the ground and hold me down. This feels very ahead of its time. Dude. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Very like god. bubbly and like. Pingly. I like that. No. Those like Mellotron strings there. The great hope for a dynasty. But I pushed it too far. Dude. I held that grudge till it tore me apart. Power went to my head and I couldn't stop my. Oh. 
guys know the song Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift? No. From the Hunger Games oh, movie? Oh, yes. Uh, there's a part, like the bridge of that song reminds me of this interlude a lot. Yeah. Um. I guess now that we're stopped. So these vault tracks, these are songs that were written back at that time. Yes. Hey, I don't think she was originally supposed to be on it. That was my question. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, no, because there's like on. I mean, it's possible, but like on Fearless, like Marin Morris has a feature, right? And like on Fearless Taylor's version, and Marin Morris was like so not she, an artist. She had these yeah, songs, and artist. she knew that she was gonna release them, and she was like, "Wow, I think that this person would sound good on this. Let me like hit them up." Sounds like it. Yeah. Imagine yeah. getting a text from Taylor Swift, being like, like "Hey, a crazy thought. Want to sing on this." Crazy thought. The other thing is like you see like a Taylor Swift Haley Williams collab. You don't expect it to be like this. No. You don't expect it to be like this, one, and two, you don't expect Haley Williams to be down in her alto register was, and Taylor Swift yes, to be belting up there. I was about to say that, yeah. Like, it feels like it should almost be the opposite, but, but I guess, you know, we don't really know much Haley Williams on her own stuff. Although, there is a song by Haley Williams that I'm blanking on the name of. It's called Simmer Acoustic, and it is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever listened to, and the entire thing's basically in her alto range, and it makes you want to just, like, melt. It is so beautiful. And this... Kind of reminds me of that in terms of her vocal style, because it's not like Paramore screaming, like, energy, energy. Yeah. It's very, like, laid back, like, very therapeutic almost. Yeah. I love Well, Haley, I mean, she's an incredibly talented... Like, she can do... Like, Insane. I know she can do fucking yeah. everything, pretty much. I didn't... I, when I first heard this, I didn't expect it to be like that. Yeah. I think a lot of people didn't. It feels like it's in like the folklore era. Yeah, it's interesting. Almost like a bridge. Oh. Mm. <laughs> You hear the vocals in the back, though? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what... It, I think that's what it was. Oh, it might have been like a chair squeaking. Um, this... Thank you. <laughs> it, it feels like there was like a wormhole whenever this... Like, she wrote this that transported her into like 2020, 2021. That could also be the production. Lore. That's true. I was also thinking, I would love to see the original demo of this to see how different it was at the time. Yeah. Because if she was able to write something that like soothing and just very... I keep thinking therapeutic because it's something I want to like close my eyes to and just like relax to. Right. Um, it's kind of like Dear John, but it's it's more atmospheric than Dear John. I think. Dear John has a lot more substance to it in terms of lyric and such. True. Mm -hmm. But this one, just based on the sound, it's very, very pure. It's very like ocean. And I yeah. love that. I love that about music. Track number 21 is. That was, that that was, was so horrendous. Tough. That was bad. So dude. tough, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry you had to see that. Track number 21 <laughs> is <laughs> Foolish One. My cards are on the table. And we're back. Yours are in your hand. Chances are tonight you. Already got plans, and chances are I will talk myself to sleep again. Dude, that was a sick melody. Mm -hmm. You give me just enough attention. Those drums. To keep my hopes yeah. Too high. Wish for the away. I was gonna say, that's crazy. The exception you will never learn your lesson. Foolish one, stop checking. The contrast with the lives there. About, over coffee every morning, when did that happen? 
Um, it didn't it start like 808 like drum machine? Yeah, and probably in the chorus somewhere. Oh yeah, they brought it down. There we go. <laughs> now I'm sliding down the wall with my head in my hands saying how could I not see the signs oh you haven't written me or called her <laughs> you got her on your arm and me in the wings I'll get your longing glances but she'll get your ring and you will say you hide the best of intentions my lesson such a good break mm -hmm. stop checking your mailbox for confessions of love but stop it's interesting how she doesn't repeat that yeah when she goes down to the like yeah. final chorus it cuts like the last bar you will take the long way you will take the long way down i would expect it to be like yeah da, 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 yeah da, 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 but then she just drops that measure it. For the outro, she just keeps going lower and lower and lower yeah. and lower. Yeah. And she hit like that now, which is really and this freaking is long. The yeah. note. I really liked that. I liked the, the it cut I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I'm having my Dan moment. Hashtag what's Sorry, your Dan it's moment? It's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> what's your hashtag Dan moment? Um it felt like it was coming in and out of uh like this kind of like what you said with um I can see you. It felt like it was coming in and out of like this portal of something like mix wise yeah. mm -hmm. it's all of this is unbelievably mixed it feels like every single instrument has a place in the song typically like when i'm making music personally and then again i'm not taylor Swift. i'll just like slap some shit on there and just hope it sticks <laughs> but it feels like in this it's very meticulous everything's so intentional yeah 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 very true everything everything feels like it has a sort of intention behind it whether it's a lyric or an instrument or a song or a feature or what else is in keep music? going keep taylor going. taylor Swift is a American musical. <laughs> Dan, would you like the honor of saying the last? Number 22. I'm Mark! They were just it. fucking around. I'm getting Mark. to it. Thank you. Track number 22 is Timeless, Taylor's version from The Vault that has 78 million streams on Spotify and adjusted for Apple Music, I would estimate approximately 160,000 stream million streams in total. And it's five minutes and 21 seconds long. All right, good. let's get started. That was, that's a bad bit, dude. Or, no, that's you, you bad. have to play oh, it right when I press A. Oh, oh. for two right now. Okay. <laughs> Ready, <laughs> set. You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this is the last song. No, uh, it's not. Yeah. What? It's not. Are there extras? I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> it shouldn't be a surprise. It was in a comment. Down the block there's an antique shop and something in my head said stop so I walked in on the counter was a cardboard box What? <laughs> <laughs> I just I moved with your hand to do this. Just <laughs> We have a mic. Yeah, we do. But yep. I don't want to be too loud. Um what were you gonna say? It was a cardboard box. I was gonna make a cat joke, but then you looked at me into my fucking soul, and then I looked back and I said, The cat joke isn't gonna be funny anymore, so I didn't say the. Can we start over? Yeah. Down the block, there's an antique shop, and something in my head said stop, so I walked in. On the counter was a cardboard box, and the sign said photos, 25 cents each. Isn't it crazy that you can go to like a thrift store or an antique shop and pick 
like take a picture of like the most important moment in someone's life like you don't know anybody in that picture you probably will never ever meet them but like that one moment like the picture that you're holding in your hand at one point probably like hung somewhere like in their house yeah and like it was like the happiest moment in their life i think about that a lot because i go to thrift stores all the time i'm like the person that like used to own this like probably cherished this so much and now like it's at a thrift store and like people are just buying it like for themselves i think it's weird but, but it's I also, also beautiful it is beautiful yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's really repurposing something and not letting it die. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's kind of the point of the song. Mm, I guess we'll find out. That's when I called you and it's so hard to explain but in those photos I saw uh. us instead I would have read your love letters every single night and prayed to God you'd be coming home alright and you would have been It's like this delay on the vocals. I think I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> um, she's at the thrift store. Finds, or antique shop. Or antique shop. Mm -hmm. She finds a picture mm -hmm. and goes, wow, what could have been? And then she starts thinking about what? how in every other lifetime, every other reality, she would have gone to that thrift store. No, she would have gone to that person. Well, that, I, I know, but and then the, with point, that person. the point is, but the, is, that, is that she would still get to still think about him in every life. Well, yeah, 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 but not the picture. The picture's meaningless at this point. But it evoked a memory or a feeling. <laughs> that she yeah. so long desired. Yes. Wow. Can we start? <laughs> Drums are so dry there. Caught my eye. There was one of a teenage couple in the driveway Holding hands on the way to a dance And the date on the back said 1958 Which found out these precious things The time forgot It's just metaphor upon metaphor upon That's metaphor. <laughs> Vocals. Down your mind and body. Don't you let it touch your soul. Oh, it's a cool line. It was like an age old classic. You're always gonna be mine. We're gonna be. <laughs> the timeless memory. Back in 1944. Whoa. Something in my head said stop, so I walked in. I love when people end songs like that. Yeah. A little section in there almost felt like a taste of Jack Antonoff production. I don't know why. Um, I mean, look, it might be. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Nailed that it. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah. That's I think so he cool. worked on Only the Vaults for this album. Cool. Um, All right, Mark. Here's a piece <laughs> of Little Lore. If y'all remember, in part one at the beginning of this album, I said this is the only album that Taylor Swift wrote entirely on her own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... Taylor's version, yes. But... On the original Speak Now Deluxe, there was a song called If This Was a Movie, which is only has one co-writer, and it is the only song on Speak Now with a co-writer. Taylor's version was released separately before this came out with the Fearless cover art. Whoa. But this was in the Speak Now collection originally, so it's our choice if we want to do this now or with Fearless. Vote in the comments. Do you want us to listen to this right now? Zach, I think they would murder us if we don't <laughs> listen to this right now. <laughs> then let's listen to the final track of the video. This was in between Hours and Superman, I want to say. So, is. Yeah. Who is the co-writer? Martin Johnson. If this was a movie. 
That is some treble guitar. Last night I heard my own heart beating Sounded like footsteps on my stairs Six months gone and I'm still reaching Even though I know you're not there I was playing good, man? like a thousand memories, baby Thinking about everything we've been through Maybe I've been going back too much lately I'm tired to be I think the fact that, like, that high guitar... Sorry, did I interrupt a bit? <laughs> no, it wasn't a bit. Okay. No, we were actually playing cello. I'm sorry. Um, the fact that it goes like... Da -da 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 -da, it moves the track forward so much, and it's not like... You're not sitting there, like, waiting for the next line. Like, it keeps yeah. going. Like, it's Momentum. going somewhere. Momentous. Yes. Momentous. Momentum. Speed. I am How's it going? Speed. The crunch oh on those guitars. And then how it transitions into the plucking. That's so cool. I love that riff so much. Dude, sorry, I, I had a moment where I heard like this line. It's like the same part as um Exile. Yeah. And I didn't like the ending. Yeah. Um, I don't know, shit. I don't know why I thought of that. I, probably because it's also by Taylor Swift and it's a very similar melody. And That's probably a big part of it. Guys, what? guys, we finished the album. We did it. Woo! That's everything. Thanks. Guys, and wow. thank you. Who would have thought? Who would have thought we made it this far? Yeah. Who would have thought we'd make it through the entire album? Yeah. As if it's like the craziest task. <laughs> that means, boys. Four days. Four days. Not probably three. less until this video Four. comes out. Yeah. yeah. And then we do TTPD, the Tortured Poets Department. TT Portico Do. Portico Dan. <laughs> um, that was a cool track. That was a very cool track. I will say it was a great balance of like nostalgia, hoedown, and little surprises. You could say it ties the album all together. It really does. I think it would be really cool if it were the outro with it being like what about the ending but then i also think that it's cool having an album written solely by her yeah yeah so i understand both sides of it yeah for sure Very i cool. think it's cool that she did that yeah and this came out before I speak now taylor's version that's it guys thank you so much for watching looking forward to um the next album hey me too <laughs> and um as always we'll see you in the next video and yeah. please 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 vote on what you think we should listen to next what album should come yeah. next after the tortured poets department we'll force zach to fix the poll right now i'm going downstairs thank you guys so much for watching peace see ya